Hi guys, I am working on a tutorial series of SQL Server reporting services. In my last video, you saw I created one simple wizard based report. Uh, you can see I have created uh, created this report in my last video, and I explained you how to create a data source and how to connect this data source to your uh, SQL Server Management Studio database. Okay, how to uh, pass this instance to connect to your database in this video i will explain you i will show you how to create a shared connection and i will explain you how what is the shared connection okay as as in my last video uh, to create as i said in my last video to create a report in sql server first you need to go to your project which, uh, okay this is this is my project uh, SQL Server Reporting Services and I have reports folder here to create a project you need to right click on the projects and then add click and then go to new item and then click on if you want to create a wizard report then you have to click on wizard report and then just click on report 2 ok and then add and then click on next ok now problem comes here ok uh, if you uh, you will uh, um, create two three reports okay like this uh, the process which I had explained in my last video and then after two three uh, after creating two three projects you will find uh, you will come to know that I am uh, that this process is repeating this selecting your database uh, Microsoft SQL Server and then uh, uh, passing a connection string or uh, going to edit and then entering server name and then selecting database all these uh, uh, steps you are repeating every time when you are creating a report and then uh, what if you have just have to create a uh, shared data source connection uh, connection which you near uh, and then you need uh, you use that shared data source connection every time when you create a new report in that case you won't uh, you won't need to select your uh, to, uh, to perform all these steps again and again okay uh, okay guys instead of uh, repeating these tasks like uh, writing your data source and then entering your connection string going to going here and selecting the database all these steps you don't need to do uh, once you create a shared data so shared data source connection okay so how to create this shared data source connection to create a shared data source connection you need to come here okay now click on add new data source okay here it will ask you to uh, write down the name of your shared data source connection i will, I will write shared data source okay and click uh, microsoft sql server will be my uh, database type and then here uh, the same which you which it was asking previously every time when you are when you are creating a report that it was asking to enter your connection string here also it's asking okay now enter your server name the server name will be that's instance name which you can see here mine is uh, dot backslash mammoth you can uh, type yours okay dot backslash oh, sorry mammoth no select the database and click on ok and then ok see by doing this you have a sh shared data source connection here now uh, now as you know we are, I have created a shared data source connection by doing this you now in um, while creating a report in SQL Server you don't need to create a data source connection every time when you create a report okay. now let us go here come here reports and click add and then add new select a report wizard and let it be report 2 ok now just click on next here you see before creating this shared data source connection this shared data source option was default was disabled ok because uh, I haven't created a shared data, data source connection uh, that time now uh, I have created shared data source connection and when I uh, went to create a new report uh, see this option is now enabled here it's asking you to create uh, to select a shared data source connection ok 
see since I have created a connection already so it's showing me the shared data source connection here if I don't if I didn't use this connection and I uh, went to manually create a new data source connection for each report then I need to write down the data source name and then data source type and then uh, every time I need to enter my server name and then I need to select database and all these repetitive tasks I need to done okay to avoid all these repetitive tasks or uh, to perform the same tasks task again and again there a uh, SQL server has provided us to create a shared data source connection and use it every time when you create a report again uh, the shared data source actually means is you can use this shared data source connection across multiple uh, reports okay now just uh, now i have used my shared data source connection and i will click next here see you can see here asking you to select your tables okay, i will select this customer now close it select a company name contact name then address city region then click ok and then go next select tabular click on next and then add these fields into your report click on details okay now click next select theme then click on next again now finish okay you can see here our report is ready here just minimize it this one also just uh, give it and give a name to our report wizard based report Okay, now if you come and preview your report see you have company name contact name contact title address and other details okay you can, here you can see region also and okay now you know you saw how I created a shared data source connection and you can see here also I have created a shared data source connection see um, when when I was manually entering my instance name and I was creating a shared data source uh, creating a data source manually that time I didn't had this arrow to my shared data source okay this uh, uh, what what does this mean here this arrow is pointing to your shared data source connection what it just means is it's uh, creating a reference here I don't have a solid uh, data data source connected here to my here okay instead of a solid data source actually I am pointing to my shared data source connection here okay you can see here there is a small arrow here which tells us that uh, uh, this is not a solid uh, connection actually it's a it's not a solid uh, data source it's actually pointing to the shared data source uh, which is which i have created here okay and these are my data types they are sorry data sets okay now you know what is uh, uh, data sources and how to create a shared data source uh, source connection and how to use this uh, data source a shared data source connection across multiple reports okay and uh, in my upcoming video tutorials i will be using the same shared data source connection uh, in my upcoming uh, reports okay i hope you like this video guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching